Tonight's big story, the best thing, of course, is not to shoot up heroin in the first place. But if you or a loved one has, here's a way to keep an overdose from killing you. Alexandra Lewis is live with a new push from Project Dawn. Alex? Paramedics respond to overdoses every single day, and to keep those cases from ending up here at the corner, Project Dawn handed out Narcan kits today to anybody who wanted one, no questions asked. It's the same, exact same kits that police use, that paramedics use, the same kits that save lives every single day. I've struggled with heroin, I've struggled with opiates. Crystal Waller is a former addict and mom of six. Not being with my children, um, and my children just happen to see me as an addict. 13 months ago, she got clean. Thank you. Folks at Project Dawn want more stories like Crystal's here in Dayton, but oftentimes future success stories have to survive an overdose. Trying to get training for these folks uh, to try to help offset some of those overdose deaths that, we, that we've seen. Lieutenant Boer says overdoses on the east side are at an all-time high. Today, addicts and family members got their own survival kit and learned how to use it. And basically teach them how to use the next lawn or, or Narcan to hopefully save one of their loved ones from overdosing. Take the ends off, put it together like this, take this and put it in the end, and you squirt it up somebody's nose. The drug blocks receptors to the brain, allowing the body to come down from the high. There's a lot of addicts that need help. Um, and you never know when you're going to need to use something like this. This will be a big help. This is life-saving. We're so grateful. Pat Banizak runs Clark no, County's Family and Youth Initiative. Okay. The new Carlisle organization has yet to deal with an overdose. It's a special community, but it has overridden an epidemic with heroin, so we know that it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when. Project Dawn is happy to help, hoping to create more stories like Crystal's. You can do it. If I can do it, um, it hasn't been easy. I've struggled, but I've had a lot of resources and good support. Lawmakers are working on legislation that will get these kits in your hands without a prescription, but until that happens, Project Dawn will have a doctor on hand every Wednesday and hand out these kits along with a training session. Reporting live here in Dayton, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.